We can't be in more than one place at one moment. And indeed, we can never catch the present moment because as soon as we try, it's become a past moment. Somebody has got to uh, distinguish between true and false. And God seems to have given me an understanding of scripture that makes this part of my ministry. All the theology that I've learned and then tried to teach and expound is theology that feeds back into my own meditations and prayers. It's always been like that right from the start. And if you turn anything that you've learned, anything I mean in the way of truth about God, back into prayer, and you praise God for it, and you thank God for it, and you pray about what you can see of how it needs to impact your own life, well, your heart is keeping up with your head. We are answerable to God and to each other for the things that we do. The real essence of theology is knowing what your Heavenly Father is up to, as I said a moment ago. The real agenda for theological study is the will and the ways and the work of our God. And the raw material for theological study is all in the Bible. It's all there. The only hope of the world is the Lord's return for judgment, yes, and for the renewal of everything. The basic joy of my life, frankly, is to know the Lord, to know the Lord Jesus as a friend, to know His Father as my Father, to know that I'm a child of God and that there's an inheritance of glory waiting for me. I can look forward to every day with joy because every day is one day nearer. Transition from this world to glory, it can't be very far off now because I'm nearly 80 years old. Meantime, there's a lot of writing that I'm trying to finish. It would sound rather stupid, I think, if I told you how many projects I hope that I shall be able to get through before the Lord takes me home. But uh, as long as he leaves me here, I'll teach and I'll write and I'll rejoice. And that's my life.